Hey everyone, this is Eshmay from AppGyver again, and today I'm going to show another formula from the meme generator that can come in handy in a lot of situations, and we're calling this one cinematic mode. So if you remember, it was a formula in combination with a page variable that would allow you to tap one component and then make another component on the page hide. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do that now. So if you remember from our meme generator tutorial, we tapped the final meme and made the other components hide, but I can go ahead and demonstrate it here just using an image and a button. And so basically we wanna tap this button and make this image hide. And so the first thing we'll do is create a new page variable under variables. And we'll call this one again, cinematic mode, or you can call it whatever you want. And let's change the value type to true false. And then save. Now we want to bind that button to that page variable in the logic. So open up the logic canvas and drop in set page variable and connect it. And when you select it, you see that cinematic mode is already chosen by default because it's the only one. So that's correct. Under assigned value, click this icon and go to formula. And the formula is this exclamation point, and in programming it's called an operator. And type in after that page vars cinematic mode. Enter, save, and then hit save. Now we just want to bind that same page variable to the image. So select the image, and under properties, go down to advanced, and under visible, select this icon, and go to formula. And it's the same formula. Exclamation, page vars, cinematic mode. Enter and save. So now basically if we tap that button, the image should hide. Let's go ahead and test it out. Hide the unicorn. And now it's hidden. <laughs> and if you tap it again, it's back. There you go, using cinematic mode, formula, and a page variable to make components hide and come back. 